Looking to add an exposed zipper to the bottom of your sleeve or pants? This tutorial will show you what pattern adjustments you need to make and how to sew it. Before we get started, a quick note. The zipper needs to be inserted into a seam. I'll show you how to do a pattern alteration next. If you want to put a zipper in a spot where there will already be a seam, like an outer leg seam on pants, you can skip the pattern alteration. Make a quick muslin from your sleeve pattern by cutting it out and basting the underarm seam together. Fit it on your arm and mark at the bottom where you want the zipper to go. It's also a good idea to check the length of the sleeve so you can adjust the pattern since it'll be nearly impossible to adjust the length once the zipper is in. Take out the basting stitches of the muslin and transfer your mark to your pattern. Draw a straight line from your pattern mark up to the top of the sleeve cap. This line is where we'll divide our single sleeve pattern into two patterns so there will be a seam where we want the zipper. Lay tissue paper over your pattern and trace around the first part of the pattern. At the line, you'll want to make sure to add seam allowance, so in my demonstration, I'll add a typical 5 8 of an inch past my drawn line. I'll repeat this process for drawing the other side of the pattern on my tissue paper, and again add seam allowance past the drawn line. So now I have two patterns, and when they're sewn together, it should equal the size of the original pattern. From my new patterns, I'll cut out my sleeves for my fabric. You'll still need two opposite sleeves, so cut your pieces with your fabric folded just as you would with a normal sleeve pattern. If you're sewing a pair of jeans, you can start following here. At the bottom, use fabric marker or chalk and draw a line on the wrong side to indicate the hemline. If your hemline isn't stated on your pattern, consult your directions. Cut out four strips of fusible interfacing. The width of the strip should be one and a quarter inches. The length should be the length of your zipper plus hem allowance and an extra one inch. My zipper length is four inches plus five eighths of an inch for hem allowance plus another inch. So my interfacing length is five and five eighths. Apply the fusible interfacing on the edge of each seam where the zipper will be attached to. So you'll be applying interfacing twice to each sleeve set. Place the tab of the zipper at the marked hemline and mark on the interfacing where the end of the zipper will be. Do this for each section with interfacing. Decide how much of the zipper you want to see, measuring out from the center of the zipper teeth. For example, I want to see the teeth in some of the zipper tape, so I will write down one quarter inch. Add this written down amount to your seam allowance. I added a 5 8 inch seam allowance to my pattern, so 5 8 plus a quarter equals 7 8 From the bottom of the sleeve until my mark on the interfacing, I'll draw a line that's 7 8 of an inch away from the raw edge. At the top, square a line at your mark to close the box. This will be done for all four interfacing sections. Take each piece to your sewing machine and stitch directly on your drawn lines using a regular length straight stitch. Pin your two sleeve sections together, right sides together, from the top of the sleeve cap to the top of your stitched box. Sew this seam at your sewing machine at your designated seam allowance. About a half inch from the stitch line at the top of your box, cut through both layers diagonally to the top corner of your box. Do not cut through your stitches. Press the seam open. Fold on the long edge of the stitched box directly on the stitches so they end up on the folded edge to the wrong side. Press. At the top of the box, you may see parts of your seam allowance. Fold this part to the wrong side and press so it's folded back and unseen from the right side. Lay your sleeve right side up and slip your zipper into place. The bottom of the zipper should be against the top of your box and the zipper should be centered. Pin it in place. With the zipper foot, top stitch around the three sides of the zipper and it's installed. From this point, you can now treat your sleeve as normal as you continue the rest of your garment assembly, which means you'll sew the underarm seam and insert it into the armhole. The last thing you need to do is hem the bottom using your preferred method. I find it's easier to do this with the zipper open. For me, I'm folding on the hem allowance and then tucking the raw edge to my fold and stitching into place. And with that, you now have a sleeve with a fancy zipper at the bottom. If you want to do this with pants, you can follow these same steps, but insert it at the bottom of your outer side seam. 
We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.